Hi everyone, it's trainer Amy Jo, and I thought I would bring up the topic about trigger foods today. Working with several nutrition clients over several years, we uh, get to talking about what can be put in your meal plan, what can be fit into your macros uh, day to day that can still help you achieve your fitness goals. And sure, everybody wants to eat and enjoy things that they like, because also that's sustainability, correct? So we want to have foods in our diet that we love eating, but also merge with our fitness goals. However, if you feel like we can fit a tablespoon in of something or one bag of something or a half cup of something, but every time that you go to eat that tablespoon or every time that you go to eat that one bag of something, you end up eating eight bags of it or 10 bags of it, um, or you can't have just one, you, can all, you always end up having you know, two or more, that is what we identify as a trigger food. And trigger food can become an addiction. And just like an alcoholic who is trying to beat that addiction of being an alcoholic, they can't just have one drink, right? So we have to think about that with our foods as well. If our goal is to be fit and our goal is to drop body fat or our goal is to become healthier, um, you need to identify what is maybe what are those trigger foods for you, which can become your addiction. So identifying those is really important and having a lot of conversations with clients over the course of years, that's a question and a topic that comes up a lot. And helping them identify that, the answer really is don't have it. Don't put it in your meal plan. Don't try to fit it in your macros. Don't have it in your house. And the reason being is that it, you can't just stop at one. Enjoying a food is important and sustainability, yes, is important. But if you can't limit yourself to the half cup or the one item, then my tip to you is to not have it at all.